following all your way, Lord, following all your way. That's what makes this week holy, following all your way. Starting with loud hosannas into the temple courts. That meal in the upper room, Lord, that death on Good Friday's cross. Following all your way, Lord, following all your way. That only can make us holy, following all your way. Good morning and welcome to our Holy Week, Morning by Morning. We're going to travel through this week in our Morning by Morning times with the help of one of Jesus' followers, a man called Joseph of Arimathea. He was a real person and he's written about in the Bible as part of the Holy Week story. But we're going to use him as a character as we invite you to follow Jesus through Holy Week with the help of Joseph and his diary of the events of each day, Diary of a Disciple. Tuesday. Really enjoyed myself today as Jesus danced his way round all the traps the teachers of the law had set for him. It was like a wrestling match, but against Jesus and his wisdom, his way with words and just truth, truth, truth. That Tuesday morning, this was round one. They arrived again in Jerusalem, and while Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders came to him. By what authority are you doing these things? they asked. And who gave you? authority to do this. Jesus replied, I will ask you one question, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, was it from heaven or of human origin? Tell me. They discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? And if we say of human origin, they feared the people, for everyone held that John was a prophet. So they answered, we don't know. Jesus said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. And so it went on, telling a story about tenant farmers who beat and killed all the people sent to collect the rent. That was obviously aimed at the Pharisees. Cleverly dealing with paying taxes to Caesar, marriage at the resurrection, the greatest commandment, the Messiah, and in the middle of it all, praising a poor widow woman's generosity. Another slap in the face to the rich. That would have been more than enough for one day. But Jesus then has a whole sermon ready on life beyond this life, the end of time, full of warnings about false teachers, persecution, the temple being destroyed. None of that went down too well. But at the end of the day, after all that, it boiled down to one word. A word that was for his disciples. Watch. Keep watch, because you don't know when the owner of the house will come back. If he comes suddenly, don't let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. Are you watching? And ready? And waiting? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to follow the path you took today, giving a good answer to those who challenge the words and ways of God, heeding his warning to watch and be ready for his return. 
We ask for hearts strengthened by your Spirit's power and minds sharpened by your Spirit's wisdom. For those who face questions or even persecution for their faith in you, and we name them before you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when his enemies circled round? Were you there when his enemies circled round? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when his enemies circled round?